Welcome back here now, 555 Consumer Alert. Do you need a permit to renovate your bathroom? What about the, to build a deck? You know, it'd be confusing for homeowners to figure it out, but should not be ignored. No, very important stuff. And in today's Andrews' report, how to determine if your project requires a permit and the pitfalls of not pulling one. Mark Stauffer has lived in this home for 35 years, and recently he decided it's time to make some updates. There is electrical, plumbing, and structural work being done, and those all require a permit. Whether your home improvement project requires a permit varies depending on where you live. But most laws require that you not build, move, significantly alter, or add to a building without a permit. It actually provides you important protection. For example, in some scenarios, a contractor must be licensed in order to get the permit, so it adds an extra layer of protection for you. A permit for a small project is in the $100 range, while a bigger reno, like a home addition, that can cost more than $900. If you skip the permit process in order to save a few bucks, Angie's List warns you could end up paying more in the long run. You might end up paying fines. They could stop the work that's being done. They might actually make you redo it. And in some scenarios, if it comes down to electrical work and the electrical work causes a fire, your homeowner's insurance may not cover it. Now, a good rule is to check with your local building department, no matter if you're doing the work yourself or if you're going to hire a contractor and question any contractor who remodels without pulling a permit. Odds are they might not be licensed yeah. or there might be some issues there. So. Good advice.